Hello and welcome to State Television Company Western Armenia for this broadcast. May 24 was the 11th anniversary of the establishment of the National Assembly of Western Armenia. The chairperson of the Luxembourg, Claude Wilson, visited the genocide memorial in Armenia. Ankara used the threats of invasion of Baku as leverage against Yerevan. I can see Victims of Western Armenia, Petros Cholagian. Armenians and Armenian heritage. The Chamber of Theater, Shah Lansnavur. On the occasion of the 11th anniversary of the establishment of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, the Zoom meeting of the National Assembly took place during which members of the government and parliament of Western Armenia spoke. The deputies gave a speech of welcome. The first president of Western Armenia, Mr. Armen Akabrahamian, presented the challenges of Western Armenia and our current strategy, foreign and domestic policy, defense issues and the works that need to be carried out in the future. The chairwoman of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lineli Hayotunyan, read the declaration on the formation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia during the Zoom meeting. You can watch the Zoom meeting over below. The delegation led by the chairman of the Chamber of Deputies of the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg, Claude Whistler, visited the genocide memorial in Armenia, accompanied by Ruben Rubinian, an ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary of Eastern Armenia in Luxembourg, the Grand Balayan. The guests were welcomed by Edita Gazoyan, the director of the Museum Institute of the Genocide Against Armenia. She accompanied the guests to the genocide memorial, presenting the history of the creation of the memorial. Mr. Claude Whistler led the ref at the monument commemorating the victims of the genocide against Armenia, and then the guest honored the memory of the innocent victims of the genocide with a minute silence near the eternal fire. The members of the delegation from Luxembourg also toured the genocide museum, where they got acquainted with the temporary exhibition entitled Armenian Women, Victim and Hero of the Genocide, accompanied by the director of the museum, Edita Gazilian. The journalist of Planet Dot organization website Icon Severe gave an interview to one of the news platforms, Eastern Army, where one was referred to the Army and Turkish relations. Icon Severe stated that doesn't consider the settlement of Ankara Yerevan relations to be realistic because both the ruling class alliance and the state bureaucracy in Turkey have been considering neo Ottoman imperialism, espionism as a strategy of the first past 15 years. The journalist emphasized that in this context, for Ankara, the neighboring peoples and countries have the maximum value of the status of subjects. The importance of Yerevan for Ankara is that it is seen as a strategic transition point for the implementation of imperialist policy towards Central Asia. The Korakism brought to the agenda under the name Zangezu Corridor is the image of this. According to Icon Sivir, the future of Armenian Turkey relation depends more on the course of the Third World War and its re repercussions on the region than on the mutual steps of these two countries. To the journalist question whether Ankara deliberately does not want to regulate relations with Yerevan or are there other reasons as well? Icon Sivir answered. Ankara is using Baku's invasion threats against Yerevan as leverage and will continue to do so. Unfortunately, there is not enough democratic opposition within the country to be able to change that line. Another thing that I should mention is that especially politicians cannot be trusted in Turkey. It is useful to remember the pragmatic saying, symbolized by the saying of Demiral, former Prime Minister of Turkey, President Suleyman Demiral, one of the famous politicians of Turkey. Yesterday is yesterday, today is today. The importance of bars and written documents has always been secondary in the political life of Turkey, I can see said. Western Armenia TV reminded that the other day the former Prime Minister of Turkey, the leader of the opposition party Abanga Ahmed Davutoglu, stated that the Turkey did not write thing in supporting Azerbaijan during the 44-day war in Artsakh, but at the same time he noted that Turkey, however, should regulate relations with Armenia. Petros Cholakian, born in 1883 in Adana province, he was one of the progressive intellectuals and only of Hakan, but also of Alkilika. He was a teacher, musician and teacher. In 1913, he left Sis to work as a teacher and teacher at the invitation of the Sahak Catholicos of Kilika. In 1915, Cholakian was exiled by force and brutally killed. He was one of the victims of the genocide against the Armenians. All linguists agree that the malt is prepared in large quantities and distributed in Bayazet. Malt as a rare dish was shared among close neighbors and relatives. This also indicates that the malt is a sacrifice. 
they don't add salt, oil or sugar to the malt. The fact that the malt was brewed a lot and distributed to the whole community in itself is evidence to the malt having a ritual function. It is again based on the idea of grain bread offering. One of the many examples of grain sacrifice is the someone who was sick would bake lavas and distribute it to seven hours so that the sick person would get well. Women with the competence to lay malt, the recorded material proof that the malt was led by a woman with children. The main guarantee was to have many children. Also enjoyed great respect in the community. It is known that a number of rain-making rituals were also reserved for elderly women with children whose ability to bear fruit was to be transferred to the earth. In fact, malt is not a word either, which further confirms it being a ritual of food, and in the primitive tribal period it was a grain sacrifice. The worship of bread is essentially identical with the worship of grains. Cereals, wheat, and in general, ligaments are enchanting, ensuring good luck, the abandoned use of which in the initial conceptions should ensure the permanence of perpetuity of life. On the 100th anniversary of Shalnaz Navur birthday, which was celebrated on May 22, the artist fans traveled through the through time and music with Aznavur and the actors of Yerevan Chamber Theatre became acquainted with Aznavur's disappointment, per persistence, achievements, various man manifestations of life, rediscovered the great talented artist and once again they stated Aznavur is the only one unique actors of the play. Nurses Marcos and David Abrahamian and Lara Babayan managed to create an environment that was impressive leading to the rich world of Chansonnier with beautiful acting stage, aesthetic and Aznavurian music. During the performance, Aznavur's songs are sung by the actors who tell the story of his life from his birth and his last marriage, which spent 50 years. It was the last but the strongest at the time. When Aznavur gave his uh, triumphant concert in Paris, in France, newspaper wrote that France had been ennobled. On May 22 and 24, the year when Chamber Theatre was ennobled. This was all for today. I wish you a good weekend. Goodbye. Hay az gav mi asit vengu khach mer zerkin graf kanin ku susi u astuts mer kalkhin o sumen mas chinchin o sumen mesh kotrin bats mung loh mi asin ke kotrin tork shonin artsakh na artsakh zin karel chenaran zin astuts mer mi atin togort mes Lochin, Arzachna, Arzachin, Karecha.